No, no, seriously, I am. Um, I'm feeling a bit festive for you. I'm not a festive kind of person, but I'm being festive just for you because that's how special you are. Today we're reviewing the Zenith Pro. It's a mouth to lung tank, although it does look like a direct to lung tank. Let's crack on with the unboxing, then we'll go on with the specs and the features. Hi guys, Holly from Vapemilk. Sorry if you can hear a bit of humming in the background, I've got a 3D printer going. We've got the Zenith coil, uh, the Zenith tank, sorry, by Inakin. A quick unboxing. Nice little thank you card here. We created this product for those for enjoy the MTL style of vaping. Nice. So here we've got the tank, which is quite a big tank. It's as big as any sub -home tank. Top filling style there, I quite like it. I'm liking what I've seen so far, it seems very uh, innovative. Pro Zenith. In here we've got spare o-ring, Spare band sort of thing there. Spare glass, spare drip tip, spare metal o ring, spare rubber o rings, coil, quick start guide. That's it, nice simple packaging for a product that looks quite good. Quite looking forward to using it over the next week or so. Like I say, that's how you fill it. So a quick look at it, I change the coil before we crack on. Change the coil quite traditional, typical for Inakin. I should also mention I've got two other types of coils there. I'm not quite sure because I haven't had a look if they're the ones that are in the pack, but we'll have a see. 24 by 56 millimeters, 5.5 milliliter e liquid capacitor, 510 drip tip, and weighs 80 grams. Match heavy. It's got adjustable airflow. It's got a big hole with two holes in it, loads of little holes. It's got a top fill which works on a twist system. It's got a replaceable glass liquid shut off in two different directions, therefore when you open it, it shuts off the liquid flow to stop it bubbling and gargling into the coils. It also, when you take out the coil at the bottom, there's a little spring mechanism inside which blocks the airflow at uh, the liquid. So you can actually hold it upright without a coil in and it won't leak, even if you've got a full tank. Cool! This tank is mouth lung and RDL. RDL standing for Restrictive Direct to Lung. Now, I know you're waiting for my opinions. So let's crack on. Well, well, well. Like I've said, if you want to see a more in detail review about what I think, drop down to the link below, uh, easy click to find out the more in-depth review. I go more into the wattages on what coil, uh, different thicknesses of liquid, yada yada yada. But for now, I'm going to tell you, it's okay for mouth to lung. Uh, RTL, I worked that struck on it. You see, they've, they've brought out the one ohm Z coil, which I believe is designed for this, so you can get the mouth to lung and RDL lung experience. But um, I wasn't struck on the RD uh, on the one ohm coil. It's supposed to fire at 25, 20 to 25 watts, and I don't think it did it all that well. The I think my uh, beard's falling down. Are we all right? <clears throat> I don't think it did. Jesus Christ! I don't think it did it all that well. The um, mouth to lung at the one ohm at 20 watt. It's a bit heavy on your chest. Turn airflow down. Any a little bit more. The direct to lung. I didn't think there were any flavour there, but for the 1.2 ohm coil. There were a fair bit of flavour there. It's a very innovative system. Like I said, the taking out your coils and it blocking it 
isn't a new thing. Uh, I mean, I've, when I reviewed the Inakin, not Inakin, Aspire Reacts, that system's got it. But it is a nice implementation of a system. Let's face it, nobody wants to faff about without coiling because it's leakage and yeah. The I've also found one more thing. The on this bit here, if you've got a bit of debris in there and then you open it, it pushes it into the liquid well. That's not good. So maybe if you had like a, I don't know, I don't know how you can improve on that. I do like it, but you just got to be make sure it's nice and clean and there's no inside when you open it. I imagine if you went on a beach, it'd be a bit of a nightmare. All in all, I thought I was gonna like this kit uh, tank, sorry, but I don't really like it that much. It does come with a replaceable this, uh, the vanity band, which is this little bit here, just below the glass and just above the bottom rim. That is interchangeable, they sell different ones. It also comes with a spare one. This one came with a blue one. But you know, I'm kind of going back, you're not buying me with that. Um, I think on the EC Click review, I said if they improve on the RDL coil, then I'd be much more impressed. But at the minute, I'm kind of seeing that Inikin tried to impress everybody and just found a really small gap in the middle and didn't really impress that many people. I don't know, but there will be people out there that think this is amazing and good to you. It's not Michael Petit. Sorry! But I will say, if you are a fan of the Zenith range, which includes the slide and the normal Zenith, then you'll probably like this. I just think it's a bit too big. I like the innovation on the website. It constantly says, oh, you asked for this and we give you this. You asked for this and we give you this. I like the system. I like the idea. I just don't, it just didn't fulfill me, if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Punk. Um, it's just, I'm sorry. I wanted to like it, but it didn't quite fulfill my taste buds or my lungs or nothing. <laughs> Tilly Sam, congratulations, you won. <laughs> For whether it were the comment of the month that said I just choose females, if you can see, this is a random comment picker. If the random comment picker is sexist, then fair enough, but it's not me. I'll just choose one of you lovely guys at random. But this week is Tilly Sam, you were a broken pod in. In a kid, pod in. It's broke. So I will buy you a brand new one and I'll probably get it shipped direct. That means I don't have to pay for postage as well and neither do you. In fact, no. No, it's man, you pay for postage. <laughs> Anyhow, congratulations Tilly Sam. Uh, next week, I think uh, we're going to give this away. I don't quite know what I'm reviewing next week. Hey -o. I would like to say a massive thank you for you all because I've now got 1,000 subscribers and that means a lot to me. I know it might not seem it because I've been away for, uh, this week uh, so I haven't really been commenting or on Instagram or anything. I'm really sorry I've had a lot on uh, personal life. But I'm back. I will be back to commenting. I'll be back to Instagram and I am just like full on, uh, I've got a thousand. I've also started a new YouTube channel. Uh, there's some stuff on there already from what I've in the past, but I haven't started on that. As soon as I do, I shall let you know. Uh, our man Kev, which is actually sat in the background at the minute, he's doing a gaming uh, channel soon, and I know you're all fans of him because he's great. So when, that, when that's up and running, we'll let you know about that as well. Um, but the biggest thing you can do at the minute, I mean, you can stay cloudy, I mean, Make sure you stay cloudy. The biggest thing that you can do is get absolutely hammered and enjoy Christmas. Seriously, that's the biggest thing you can do right now. So do it and enjoy. Uh, drink responsibly, guys. <laughs> don't be all like, ah, all the time to drink, so I'm drinking. Drink responsibly, make sure you're of age, blah, blah, blah. All that responsible crap. But just have a good time. If you can't drink, then just have a good time anyway. Um, until Boxing Day, when I'm going to do the next review on these, which I'm going to film in about a second, because I'm not filming all this week, I have better things to be doing. I'm only joking, I love you. Um, so don't forget, stay cloudy! Oh, thank God for that shit.